Welcome to the game commentary for Tomb Raider Anniversary. I'm Jason Bada, the creative director for Tomb Raider Anniversary. And I'm Toby Gard, the um, uh, original designer from the first TR1. Ah, oh, you were the creative director. Give yourself some credit. I suppose there's only six of us, though. I mean, we don't have such grand titles back in those days, but yeah. So in terms of uh, the uh, opening sequences of the uh, original game, the whole thing was leading up to sort of the whole wolf extravaganza that happens um, where it was kind of the big reveal of Lara Croft. And um, obviously some of that wasn't really appropriate anymore. People know who Lara was, so um, it enabled us to actually be able to show Lara in the intro in the foyer in Calcutta. And, and obviously uh, we didn't have to go quite so crazy with the wolf bit with the big towels flying off of her and stuff. And I think the, the essence of that whole cinematic and whatnot is the same, sort of an introduction to the main characters of the game and sort of sets up what the entire game is about. So that sort of remains unchanged. Yep. Yeah. We sort of tried to follow a lot of the shots from the original game, sort of inspiration for us throughout the entire game, but for this opening scene as well. So I remember when, when we were first putting together the uh, design for Tomb Raider and uh, I found that it was pretty disturbing how many games, how, how much there was of killing in games, basically so many people killing each other mindlessly, you know, you walk up to some chap and just because they're from a different country you can gun them down and that seems to be perfectly reasonable. So in TR1 I felt like, apart from the fact that I didn't think we could do very good humans at the time, like uh, other human enemies, it seemed to me like a much nicer thing to do to have the enemies be uh, animals, sort of, you know, vicious, vicious animals like bats and rats and things. Which is ironic because I think now most people would consider killing animals way crueler than killing people. So this was one of the rooms, the wolf bridge room essentially so early on in the game and the original Tomb Raider was really just hey look there's going to be some big baddies that you're going to fight at some point but you're able to sort of stand above them and shoot them to death. Lara so mean. Yeah well or well, you could just leave them alone I suppose. There was nothing really going on in that room in the original TO1 and I was sort of pushing for us to simply you know just skip this room on the remake because it wasn't particularly significant but um yeah, I think visually it was one of the more sort of recognizable areas from TR1, though, so we, we wanted to keep it, but sort of change it a little bit, so I think it was you that had the idea, right, of, of breaking the first bridge so uh, that you fall down into the wolf area. Yeah, so really basically make life difficult for the animal lovers. <laughs> so you have to kill the wolves now or they kill you. The people who didn't kill the wolves, didn't snipe the wolves, basically get the worst deal. That's right. Plus it makes the second bridge a little bit more intense now. That's the big one, yeah. yeah. So this, uh, this room, in the, in the original, it was uh, the goal to try and create a sense of, of reality to sort of the progression. Like we had to separate Peru into four levels, but um, when we were designing them, we, we made them so that they should essentially, they were supposed to fit together. We tried to keep the um, big door at one, at one end and then you'd be popping out on the other side into the new level. So they were very continuous, essentially four continuous massive levels, but they were split in chunks. One of the improvements is that that actually happens now seamlessly, so um, you carry on through it. And it's a little easier that way to be able to tell what some of the areas were supposed to be. In this particular area was supposed to be essentially a fortified entrance to their city, whereby you've got arrow areas, these sloped walls, and then holes for people to be able to, I don't know what they do, chuck rocks at people or, or uh, you know, throw stones or call them names and stuff. 
leading to the actual main entrance. Right, it was sort of the, the last uh, fortitude of the Vilcabombans against uh, the invading the Spaniards. Spanish. That's right. And originally you came in sort of up top in one of the side areas and sort of worked your way around. But we felt that we really wanted to make the players play the route of the Spanish invaders since that's essentially what Lara is. She's sort of coming in and going into the, the home of the, the natives here. So we wanted to make her run the gauntlet down the center. 